and I'm a lifestyle content creator and today we are going to be unboxing this very beautiful box in front of me. It's from Nita Cosmetics so let's see what's inside. Ooh. Wow, so beautiful and vibrant so I've got uh, a whole bunch of makeup products and for those of you who don't know, Nita Cosmetics is a Malaysian cosmetics brand that was started by a Malaysian personality herself and I just am so excited. Look at the packaging. It's like really cute and you can see the word like Cha Kui Tiao over here. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm gonna be using all these products to create a day look on myself today. Shall we get started? Okay, so I've got all the products laid out here in front of me. I'm very excited because um, I've never tried this brand before. First up, I'm going to start with the Powder Drum Kit Foundation. And this is in the shade 10 Light. So cute! It's like dual side. So I'm going to first start with um, the beige side. So I would say the coverage is like medium, but it gives a very nice silky smooth uh, texture on your skin. It just blurs out all of the pores and imperfections. You guys can't even tell that I have like foundation on. That was fast. I think this foundation is really good for people with oily skin or people who live in very humid countries like in Singapore because um, it gives a very matte, shine-free finish but at the same time, it's actually very natural. So if you're looking for a good powder foundation, I would say this is not too bad. And I did it like 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, next up, brows. And this is the Mata Kuching Brow Liner. It's a 3-in-1 product. You have your brow pencil, you have your spoolie, as well as da -da -da -da, a brow gel. So you just need one product, bring this one with you, your brows are all set. So I already did one on my brows. I'm going in with the other side and same thing. I'm just filling in half of my brow on the uh, further end for the half of my brows, just carving out the shape, filling in the sparse areas. And then using the spoolie to just push the colours to the front. And then you want to use a brow gel to just give your brow hairs a little bit more texture. And you don't want to go in too hard and press it on your skin. You just want to lightly glide it against the brow hairs to make it stand up. And that way you'll have nice feathered brows. Like this. Okay, next up, I have these cute little mini matte liquid lipsticks. Uh, there are five of them and they are all from the Balik Kampong Bungkus series and these are such wearable colours, aren't they? So because these are matte lipsticks, they dry down matte, they are very very versatile and I'm going to be using them not only on my lips today but also as a very light wash of eyeshadow. So I'm just choosing my shade. Which shade should I go with? Okay, so I was thinking, maybe I'll go with this one. It's in the shade Sago. Comes with a doe foot applicator. And this is how the colour looks like. So I like to apply it on the back of my hand first. And then use my fingers. So if you're in a rush or you're just not someone that likes to carry a lot of makeup products with you, having a good wearable matte lipstick like this in your purse can come in super handy because this one can not only be on your lips, you can also use on your cheeks, on your eyes, multifunctional. Very light wash of colour, it's super natural. And then now let's go in with 
mascara. First, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Alright, and now I'm using the Mata Kuching Mascara as well. I love the packaging, it's like super sleek, just very minimal. And this is how the wand looks like. So it's a nice curve that hugs all of your lashes. Mm. I love it. So it lengthens, it volumizes, but at the same time, it also separates my lashes really nicely. So my lashes are very thin and sparse. I definitely need a few more coats. So let's see how the second coat does. <laughs> I think the mascara is amazing. Like I didn't even use any primer or anything and my lashes definitely looks so much more like distinct and defined compared to before and it really opens up the eyes especially if we're not using eyeliner um, I think lashes are super important Okay, it's now time for blusher I'm using the Nita blusher This is the Press Powder Blush and it's in the shade Ethnic Super nice and big the words I like it Okay, so this is a really nice a uh, shimmery, mauve kind of colour. It has a bit of a gold speckled shimmer inside. So it's going to give you that nice healthy glow. So because we're going quite light on the eyes, I'm going to be a little bit heavier on the cheeks to give you that very nice glow from within kind of look. And I'm applying my blusher on the centre of my cheeks and I'm going to apply it in a more horizontal manner. The blush is very pigmented. <laughs> and the chunks of glitter and the shimmer is just a very very nice like, subtle sheen that gives you a nice glowy look. Especially because our foundation was matte earlier, putting this kind of uh, shimmery blush can make it look a lot more healthy and as if you're glowing from within. Alright, lastly, it's time for the lips. Um, this is so difficult to choose the colour because I like all of them. Let me see. So what I like to do is I like to just put them at the back of my hand and then just like look at it in a mirror to see which colour suits the entire look and the outfit better. So I've shortlisted this tree. I think the middle one. Yeah. Let's go with the middle one. Which is... This one. Okay. <laughs> Usually, right, after I do my makeup, like my whole hand is like full, full of swatches. Last but not the least, I like to draw some under eye, eye bags. So I'm just going back in with my brow pencil. Uh, just lightly colour or like do a little outline of my eye bags like so to balance out the eye a little bit. And then use your pinky to blend it in. And this is the final look. So you guys can check out Nita Cosmetics on their website and check out with Hula for three interest-free payments. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!